So I wasn't sure if we were going to do this or not. Um, Eric and I talked. So social media and uh, cable news, they're designed to provoke anxiety and fear and outrage, all in a desire to drive uh, viewership and clicks. And the role of the church is to be... anxious when the world tells us not to be and to be calm when the world tells us to be anxious. And I didn't want to continue to sort of spin the anxiety pool. Um, but today feels different. Today feels unique. And I, we both thought, so Eric and I agreed on this together, but since we're doing it in video, we can't both, I guess, co-sign off on this. But we both agreed that today was significant and that you needed to hear from your church. There's a time for intellectual discourse later about um, about what all this means and um, who we are as a people and um, all of that. But that's not tonight. Tonight I am scared and angry. I'm scared that we will continue to divide ourselves further and further. You know, I'm scared because I remember being in protests where I saw police acting violently. We didn't see that today. Not at all. Um, there's a time for that discourse. Um, I'm, I'm scared because I'm remembering reflections from Susan Frederick Ray, the president of our association, uh, when clergy were called to Charlottesville to stand up against white supremacist violence and the police were nowhere to be found. So I'm reliving uh, the fear that I've seen and heard other colleagues talk about. And I am angry. I'm angry that people are allowed to storm the Capitol without, to the best that I can see, consequence. I'm angry at the disconnect. I'm angry that um, Unitarian Universalists are going to find their own absolution on this to say, well, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Um, you know, I've already separated myself from everyone that I've identified as as the problem. I know, I mean, I don't know the people who stormed the Capitol, but like I grew up around people who would have similar ideologies. I'm not different than them. I should not ever as a religious person find my absolution by distancing myself from them. I'm angry at our elected representatives who are fomenting this for political gain or perceived political gain. Um, specifically, Senator Kennedy. Specifically, Representative Scalise and Higgins. I'm sure others did it too. But those are the ones who represent our state that I know of right now who were um, intentionally trying to undermine an election for political gain. And that needs to be called up because that is a part of this problem. So I'm angry at that. And I have to remember that this is not the culmination of something. So our elected government, our president and our Congress, those are reflections of who we are as a people. And we are a divided people. We shouldn't be. Um, and this isn't the only time we've been divided. This is the culmination of years of violence that doesn't get identified as violence, of decades, of centuries of violence. There are 350,000 people in this country who died of a virus because our government was too incompetent or too intentionally negligent to care. We still have more than 500 parents who are not reunited with their children 
just because they tried to seek asylum here or cross a border under a misdemeanor crime. There has been violence in this country for a long time. And so the question is, what do we as Unitarian Universalists do? And I don't have a lot of good answers right now. I know what we can do is not make things worse. That's a goal. I know that um, I don't look for God in the incident. I don't look for God in what happened today. I look for God in the response. And it doesn't surprise me that this happened on Epiphany. So some theological nuance, and then we'll kind of end this thing. Epiphany is the day that the Magi reached the baby Jesus. So Herod heard, according to scripture, that there was a baby born who's going to bring about a more just, more loving, more kind world. And so he sent three spies to go find that baby and deal with it. When the spies got there, the scripture says they took a different route home. They decided they were not going to be agents of the state anymore. Groups of largely white people stormed the U.S. Capitol today and were allowed to storm the Capitol on the same day that Georgia elected its first black senator. I don't think those two are disconnected. On the same day that a president um, is officially being told he's done because they're certifying the vote. Um, the same president that has poked on um, racial bruises that have been here for generations, but we've been, uh, white people have been too kind and intentionally disguising to cover them up. Um, but he poked on them open and loud and right in front of us. So I think all of that happened today for a reason. Not not like a God makes it happen reason, but um I think it's important to note that today is an important day in this country and an important day religiously. And so I want to know what we as Unitarian Universalists are going to do. You know, I'm pulling wisdom from a someone that I... Right after Alton Sterling was killed by the state here and there were major protests, one of the leaders in Together Baton Rouge said, we need peace but not quiet. So we need peace. This is a prayer for peace. This is a prayer for a more just, more loving, more kind world. But don't be quiet. Don't retreat to your algorithmically sorted um, corners where you're only going to shout into the void of other people who some computers decided agree with you. These are scary times. The virus is still here. My prayer is that we can go find some way to turn our lives to make the world better, more kind, more just, and not to lose hope because of this, but to see this as a manifestation of something better and larger that is coming. Justice is on the horizon. Love is on the horizon. Compassion is on the horizon. I'm not talking about the government. I'm talking about you as a religious people. Uh, when we gather, we can make a more, the, the world we deserve. Limit your cable news tonight, it's toxic. Um, limit your social media, it's toxic. Go love the hell out of some people. We'll be together soon.